Hi guys and welcome to the first video of the new Velum 101 series. Today we'll talk about how Velum works and we'll start introducing concepts as collisions and constraints so that we can actually set up our first successful node graph and our first crop simulation. Uh, inside of Dini, let's create a geo node. I will name it Velum 01. I will copy this name and I will press Ctrl S to save it and I will name my file Velum1. Going inside of the geometry node, I will need a grid. I need a sphere that I will set a little bit more uh, down than the, the grid. So the grid can actually collide with the sphere by changing the center and setting the scale to Now we'll start creating our Vellum setup. I will create a Vellum configure cloth to convert this grid to a cloth. And here in the third input, if you hover it, it says collision geometry. So I will plug the sphere inside and then I will plug in a Vellum solver. So while this converts our grid to a cloth, uh, the Vellum solver actually simulates it. So to connect all three of them together, I can hold J and connect them. I will make sure I am on the first frame and then I will press here to visualize the solver. Now if I press play, it looks a little bit weird, but why is that? First of all, the geometry is not so high poly. And second of all, we have quads that are trying to behave as triangle. You see the best topology for a simulation is supposed to be triangulated. So one idea could be to create a remesh and this will work with any geo that you have coming maybe outside from Udini. And this remesh will make sure that you have a triangulated mesh. And now we can press play. And we have our cloth simulating nicely. In alternative, if you're using just a grid, we can also use a node called planar patch. Now this planar patch is a grid that's already been subdivided with triangles. So we can change the orientation to ZX plane, set this uniform scale to 10 and remove a little bit of the polygon. So setting like to 0 0.2 should be fine. Plug it in and visualize our simulation. So this is the most simplest way of setting up a cloth simulation. Something fun that you can do, it's on Velum Solver, you can change setups as the time scale. The time scale defines how fast the simulation should run. So if I set it to 0.5, the simulation will be two times lower. Maybe you like some slow motion effects. That's the control for that. Uh, under the forces tab, we can see we have some gravity pushing our cloth down. That's why it's moving down. If you change it to something like three, of course you will have positive gravity and the cloth will start going up. Um, ideally, we want to create some wind if we want to create some wind, we can go inside of the Velum Solver and create it here. But for now, let's limit ourselves to setting up uh, the wind from outside. So into the Forces tab, I can choose the direction of the wind if I want it on the X, on the Y, or on the Z. I want it on the X axis. And I will put this with the wind speed to something like 5. So here we have a little bit of a controller to see where the X axis is and where the Z axis is. So now we should have a wind that goes on the x-axis. By pressing play, we see we have the wind moving the cloth on the direction we specified. And now we have something that's looking more like a little ghost. And this goes, you can do whatever you want. Ideally, we can also animate the sphere. So let's do that. I will go on the first frame and I will visualize my sphere. I will actually create a transform to store the animation data. On this transform, I will set on the first frame a keyframe on translation by holding Alt and clicking. Now we have a green thing here that's saying to us that we have a keyframe. I'm going to frame 24 and I am setting the exact same keyframe. So that means the sphere won't move until frame 24. And then on frame 72, by pressing Enter in the viewport, I can actually modify it. If the wind is coming from this direction, I will move the sphere here. And in order to confirm this frame, I will press Alt 
and now we have this animation that is not playing back in real time because we should click on this toggle here this clock icon and now we have this animation i feed in that to the vellum solver and go into the first frame let's press play and see what happens and so you have a moving stylized ghost you see the cloth is falling down and i'm waiting some frames for the cloth to fall down and then i'm pressing i'm, I'm moving the sphere and i'll have something that looks a little bit more like that now you know how to set up a cloth uh, how to set up some colliders how to set up some wind and also how to play with the animations so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you will replicate this let me know how it goes and yeah we'll see each other in the next one cheers <laughs>